Past 30 minutes, an Ocala jury found actor Wesley Snipes not guilty of felony tax fraud. Good evening, I'm Marty Salt. I'm Bob Offsaw. The story is just breaking right now at the Ocala Federal Courthouse. Channel 9's Steve Barrett is there, and Steve, Snipes isn't getting off scot-free here. He was found guilty of some lesser charges. But. Bob, we're uh, actually in, basically in the midst of the chaos as Wesley Snipes leaves. He's walking out right now with his attorneys in tow, making some comments, making their way to a press conference. We're, uh, we're going to have that press conference in a moment. We'll try and get a mic in there very quickly. Okay. As you can see, it's very chaotic around here. We're getting our cables mixed up just a little bit. Wesley... Wes Wesley, how are you feeling right now? Never had a problem with it in the beginning. We Wesley, you feel vindicated here? Do you feel vindicated? Is this the moment you were waiting this for? It has to be a good feeling. It does feel good. It feels great. It feels fantastic. You can finally talk to us, right? Uh, I can't speak right now. All right, very good. That's Wesley Snipes. You got just about uh, uh, Let me just uh, explain to you as this. You can see the chaos going on behind us. Let me explain to you what's happened to Wesley Snipes here. He was basically uh, acquitted on the two most serious charges, the conspiracy charge that was against him and the fraud charge. Those were the two felonies. That's where he was facing his serious time. All right, well, while we're waiting to hear a little more on this case, Let's go back and do a little history. Snipes' selection, jury selection in the Snipes case, started on January 14th, and the jury pool caused the first controversy in the case because it was all white. The government took less than two weeks to make its case, but the defense rested without calling a single witness. And then the jury took three days to reach today's not guilty verdict on those two most serious.